Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome. You know what I just realized looking down here? This black t-shirt makes my sunburn look worse. Oh, well. Today we're going to talk about predicting the future. If you think you can predict it or if you think you can't. I guess as Henry Ford said, you're right. Stick around. That's our topic today right here on 7 Minutes in the Morning. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome. It is another bright, shiny Monday in the uh, in the good old world, and I, for one, am happy to be here. If you're, uh, uh, let's see, over the weekend, so I had Father's Day, so if, if applicable, hope you had a great Father's Day. Um, hey, listen, when you get here, whether you're watching live or on the replay, do me a favor, do yourself a favor, go ahead and leave a comment like Joe and Jessica have done. That lets me know that you were here. That gets you involved in the conversation, and we can have a lot more fun that way. So, uh, that's what you should do. All right, so, today, I want to talk about telling the future. I talk about this every once in a while, and I always get a bunch of funny looks when I start talking about it. And I'm not talking about, you know, some crystal ball or cards or whatever. It's not even that complicated. There was a, uh, I read an article over the weekend about this um, engineer who, and granted this was a while ago when, when the lotteries only had single digit numbers, but he did the math and figured out when what the jackpot needed to be in order to turn a profit by buying every possible combination. And it was like, I don't know, seven million, seems like it was seven millions of numbers that stuck in my head. Seven million one dollar lotto tickets. So if the jackpot got over, you know, seven million dollars, he was going to turn a profit. So that's an example of what I'm talking about. He wasn't really telling the future, except that he knew that there was going to be a lotto drawing on this day, and that he knew that it was going to be at least for this much, and he knew that if he bought every ticket, he was going to win. He won 14 times doing that, until they changed the rules. Started using double-digit numbers. So, now there's like 220 million possible combinations. I don't know. Here's the point. For those of you that sit around and think, well, we just have to see what the future holds or just, you know, wait and see what happens. You don't have to. Maybe not in the details. You can't tell the future like what the specific numbers of the lottery drawing are going to be. But I can tell you, that guy could tell you who is going to win. Right? Everything, everything in life, everything that happens, happens in cycles. What you have to do is learn how to understand those cycles, figure out where you are, and then figure out what happens next. It's really simple, right? Every year, car manufacturers come out with new models. Every year, new TV shows and new, new seasons of TV shows, right? I mean, you, you want to get known for writing, you know, the best reviews of, you know, whatever your favorite TV show is, wait until it drops. I did this one year. What was the show? Oh, Dancing with the Stars. I did it. So, um, not because it was my favorite, because it was the audience favorite. But every episode, I'd watch it. During, I'd live blog the, the episode, and then at the end, I'd write a recap. Super high traffic. That's what people wanted. But it was a cycle. <clears throat> every year, you know there's going to be new TV shows. Every year... You know that some students start college and, and some finish. Those are all predictable. Now, when that happens, that creates a set of circumstances. And we all know what circumstances are, right? They're opportunities. So how can you leverage those opportunities? Right? That's all you have to do. Look for the pattern. Figure out where you are in the pattern. 
and then plan accordingly. Now, here's an important pattern. Uh, let me get back to that. Let me hit some comments here. Oh, bad connection. Sorry about that. Ah, uh, well, the replay, so apologize for the, the uh, connection issue. The replay will be up shortly, and you can watch the replay. Um, now, here is, here's another prediction. If you don't have, if you don't set goals for the year, you won't hit them. And if you don't measure the goals that you have, you won't make them. Now, interestingly, we are almost halfway through the year, roughly. In a couple of days, we'll be halfway through the year. So, the question for you today is, are you halfway to your goals? I guess the first question would be, did you set goals for the year? Then the second question would be, are you halfway to those goals? If you're not, you should be, and you're behind. But that's okay, because I can help. That's what we're talking about all week this week how to get caught up, how to get ahead of where your goals say, or uh, where you should be on your goals for this year. So be sure and stay tuned in all week this week as we talk about goals, goal setting, and making them a reality. All right? So now, I want you for your homework today, I want you to go away and think about the, the um, market that you're in. Try and figure out a pattern or two that runs in that market right figure out where you are in that pattern and then as Catherine just said make your future you can do that all you have to do is understand the cycle that you're in all right I'll go ahead and shut it off there the replay will be up on YouTube and I'll post the YouTube over to Facebook so you have a better picture there uh, yeah that's it don't forget to do your homework be back again tomorrow for another installment of seven minutes in the morning you guys thank you so much for being here have a great day